There are many advantages to using the Auric Dry Carpet Cleaning System over traditional hot water extraction, also known as steam cleaning. No moisture is held in the carpet or padding to breed mildew and cause odor. Amazingly, the carpet is ready for use immediately after cleaning. There is no wicking to promote the re-emergence of stains. Auric Dry Carpet Shampoo actually leaves a protective shield preventing future stains. No sticky residue is left from harsh chemicals. In fact, Auric Dry Carpet Shampoo is non-toxic. It will not harm children or pets. There are two separate procedures for cleaning carpets with the Auric Dry Carpet Cleaning System. One technique is for cleaning commercial grade glued down carpets. This method can also be used to clean high traffic areas or exceptionally grease embedded rugs. The materials needed for commercial grade carpet and high traffic area cleaning are the Orbiter Floor Machine, Drive Pad Holder, two or more white terry cloth bonnets, Auric Premis Soil Release Pre-Spray or SR1 and a bucket. Prepare the orbiter by attaching the dry pad holder. For spots or stains, pre-treat with soil release pre-spray, then bonnet clean. For exceptionally difficult stains, pre-treat with Revelry Carpet Stain Remover, then bonnet clean. Empty the contents of SR1 into a bucket and add approximately two gallons of water. Submerge the white terry cloth bonnet into the solution and wring it out. Center the orbiter over the white terry cloth bonnet and simply place it onto the bonnet. The dry pad holder acts just like Velcro. Work the bonnet over the area, turn the bonnet over when soiled, and continue to clean the carpet. When both sides of the bonnet are soiled, clean or replace the bonnet. The white terry cloth bonnets can be machine washed or hosed off. It is important to remember to always allow the white terry cloth bonnet to air dry. To dry clean an entire carpet, you'll need the Orbiter Floor Machine and these supplies. Black Nylon Shampoo Brush, Auric Dry Carpet Shampoo, the Auric Premis Soil Release Pre-Spray, and an Auric Vacuum Cleaner. Dry cleaning your carpet is a snap. Just follow these four easy steps. Step one, pre-mist. Use the SR1 to lightly mist a six by six area of carpet. Step two, Sprinkle the Auric Dry Carpet Shampoo. Open the pail of Auric Dry Carpet Shampoo. Dip the sifter into the pail and fill to the level line. Lightly sprinkle over the moisted area. Working in small areas will ensure that the powder is brushed into the carpet while still moist. Step three is to work the Auric Dry Carpet Shampoo onto the carpet with the orbiter. Work the powder into the carpet, moving the orbiter over the treated area in a north-south motion. Only make one or two passes over the same section. Be careful not to grind the powder into the carpet matting. For working it too much, we'll break down the bonding agent in the powder. The Auric Dry Carpet Shampoo is now at work absorbing dirt and stains like a sponge. The final step is to vacuum up the dirt encapsulated powder. Approximately 45 minutes later, vacuum up the dry powder and dirt mixture. You'll need a powerful machine to extract all of the powder. We recommend the Auric High Speed Upright. Please note that you can walk on the carpet at any time during the dry cleaning process. This process may need to be repeated for exceptionally dirty carpets. To order parts or to locate the distributor in your area, please call 1-800-242-1378. To clean polyurethane wood floors, use the Orbiter Floor Machine, Drive Pad Holder, White Terry Cloth Bonnet, Lamel Bonnet, Timberworks Wood Floor Cleaner, and a vacuum, broom or dust mop. One quart of Timberworks Wood Floor Cleaner cleans up to 2,000 square feet with the Auric Orbiter. The first thing you want to do is completely vacuum, sweep, or dust mop the floor to remove all dirt, grit, sand, and dust from the floor's surface. Then, lightly spray Timberworks wood floor cleaner onto a six by six area. Do not oversaturate. A little goes a long way. Allow the Timberworks to sit for about one minute. This enables the cleaner to cut through any grease or dirt buildup. Apply using the Orbiter and White Terry Cloth Bonnet to restore luster. Flip clean or replace the bonnet once heavily soiled. Repeat this procedure until the entire area is clean. 
buff using the Lambo bonnet for a high gloss finish. Occasionally, you may need a more aggressive pad, where there has been a lot of grease buildup, for instance, or where dirt has been ground into a high traffic area on the floor. It is okay to use the white pad or even the brown pad in order to do the trick. Start with a less aggressive pad, white, then work out from there. When a wax floor looks dull, first try buffing with a white polish pad, then with the lamb wool bonnet to see if that will restore luster before re-waxing. When areas of heavy use no longer respond to buffing, wax only those areas and buff the entire floor to an even luster. To put down wax on wax wood floors, you'll need the orbiter, dry pad holder, a white polish pad, white terry cloth bonnet, lamb wool bonnet, dust mop, and Oryx clear paste wax or Indian sand paste wax for old or darker floors. Completely dust mop the floor, wipe up spills with a dry cloth or paper towel, use a slightly damp cloth for sticky spills, then buff with a white terry cloth bonnet to restore luster. Apply a tablespoon amount of paste wax onto four sections of white polished pad. Attach the white pad to the pad holder. Work the orbiter in a forward and backward motion spreading out the paste wax to a thin coat. Allow paste wax to dry for five minutes. Turn white polished pad over to clean side and buff. Obtain a higher luster, use the lamb mold bonnet. To sand and refinish wood floors, You'll need the Orbiter Floor Machine, Drive Pad Holder, Brown Scrub Pad, Lamo Bonnet, Sandscreen 60 Grit, Sandscreen 80 Grit, and Sandscreen 100 Grit, Broom or Dust Mop, Oric Vacuum Cleaner, and Tack Rags. Place the pad holder on the Orbiter and attach the Brown Scrub Pad. Place the 60 Grit Sandscreen Disc under the Brown Scrub Pad. Sand the floor. Do not worry about gouging the floor. Remember, the orbiter's random orbital motion will not allow this to happen. Remove the residue by vacuuming or sweeping the floor in the same direction as the boards. Place an 80 grit sand screen disc under the brown pad. Sand the floor. Sweep and vacuum the floor, then tack rug thoroughly. Apply finish according to manufacturer's recommendations. Burnish between coats with a 100 grit sand screen disc. Buff with a Lambo bonnet. To order parts or to locate the distributor in your area, please call 1 800 242 1378.